this is Algebra 2, Lesson 23. We're going to talk about graphical solutions, and we're starting on page 108. We've been solving two equations and two unknowns by substitution and elimination. We can also solve them by graphing. Remember, the answer you get when you solve these equations is the ordered pair where their graphs cross. So here's the first one. Solve the system of equations by graphing. Check the solution with either substitution or elimination. Okay, so we're going to start by solving both of these equations for y. So we can set up the um, slope-intercept form and graph them. So first we have 3y minus 2x equals 6. Let's move the x to the other side. So the y is by itself. We have 3y equals 2x plus 6. Divide the whole thing by 3. And y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Over here we have y plus x equals negative 1. Remove the x onto this side. And so we have y equals negative x minus 1. There's no coefficient of y, so we're done with this one. Okay, so for the first line, we have y equals 2, 2 thirds x plus 2. Remember that the slope form is y equals mx plus b, where y is, m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So in y equals 2 thirds x plus 2, the 2 thirds is the slope, and the positive 2 is the y-intercept. So let's move over here. We're going to start with the y-intercept. That means where x equals 0, y equals 2. So here's going to be our first dot. And our slope is 2 thirds. So for every increase of 3 in the x, the y is going to increase 2. It's a positive slope, so the y is going to increase as the x increases. So as the x increases by 3, 1, 2, 3, the y is going to increase by 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Okay. My handy dandy protractor. Okay, we're going to label this line. This is y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Now we're going to graph our other line. Let's use a different color. So we have y equals negative x minus 1. Our slope is going to be negative 1. That means that as x increases 1, y is going to decrease 1. Okay? And our y-intercept is negative 1. So where x is 0, y is negative 1. So as x increases 1, y decreases 1. We're going to stair step down that way. Draw our line. Okay, up, oh, and let's label the line y equals negative x, negative 1. Okay, up till now when the book has given us graphs to draw and points to find, it has always given us pretty points. And you notice this time the point is not on a line and it's not because of my drawing for once. Because the point is not pretty does not mean necessarily that it's wrong. In this case, it looks like it's approximately it's approximately negative one and uh, six sevenths and 
about six sevenths. All right, so that is my guess as to where this little dot lies. We can test that by checking this with substitution or elimination. We already have two equations in y. So if y equals 2 thirds x plus 2 and y equals negative x minus 1, then we can just set these two parts equal to each other. So we have 2 thirds x plus 2 equals negative x minus 1. Because if y equals y, then these two also have to equal each other. All right, now we can solve for x. Let's move this 2 thirds x to this side. And let's move this one to this side. So this is going to cancel, this is going to cancel. We have 3 equals, we have negative 1 over 1x, which is 3 over 3x. So we have negative 3 thirds x minus 2 thirds x, which is going to be negative 5 thirds x. Okay, now we can get rid of the coefficient by multiplying times its reciprocal. Okay, this cancels, and we get x equals minus 9 fifths, which equals negative 1 and 4 fifths. Alright, I said negative 1 and 6 sevenths. They say it's negative 1 and 4 fifths. I'm willing to give them that much of a fraction. Now we can push, put this back into both equations and solve for y. So if x equals, if y equals 2 thirds times negative 9 fifths plus 2. Let's see, this cancels. We'll have left with 3, so this equals negative 6 over 5 plus 2. And 2 is 10 fifths, so that means y equals 10 minus 4, and 10 minus 6 is 4 fifths. So y equals 4 fifths. And I said six sevenths. So I was pretty close. Um, we can check that again with the other equation. So we'll have four fifths equals negative x. So that would be negative negative nine fifths. So that's positive nine fifths minus one, which is going to be true. This is nine fifths minus five fifths which sure enough equals four-fifths. So our ordered pair is negative nine-fifths and positive four-fifths. You could use the negative nine-fifths or the negative one and four-fifths. Either one would be correct. Okay? Okay, so let's try another one. Solve this solution by graphing. Check the solution by either by using either substitution or elimination. So here are our equations, y minus 2x equals 2 and y equals negative 3. So we'll start by preparing the equations for graphing. We have y minus 2x equals 2. So we're going to add 2x to both sides to get the y by itself. And we have y equals 2x plus 2. There's no coefficient for y, so that one's done already. And on this side, we have y equals negative 3. And it, the y is already by itself, so it's already ready. Okay, for this equation, the slope is going to be 2 over 1. So for every increase in 1, every increase in x, the y is going to increase two places because this is a positive slope. And the y-intercept where x equals 0, y equals 2. So, we're going to start right here. And for every increase in 1 in x, the y is going to increase 2 times. 
one and two. I will draw our line. It's a nice steep slope. Okay. So the next one in a different color. First I need to label this line. This is y equals 2x plus 2. Please label your graphs. Okay? The next one is y equals negative 3. That means for any x, y is going to equal negative 3. So we're going to come down here. And make a horizontal line because for any x, y equals negative 3. Okay, so the point where these two lines meet is right here, where y equals negative 3, obviously, and x equals um, negative 2 and a third-ish. So negative 2 and approximately a third and negative 3. So based on where that dot is, that is my rough estimate of this point. So let's solve it more precisely using substitution or elimination. We already once again have two equations that are y equals, so we can set these equal each other because if y equals y, then these two have to also equal. 2x plus 2 equals negative 3, and we'll solve for x. Subtract 2 from both sides. We get 2x equals negative 5. Divide by 2, and x equals negative 5 halves, which equals negative 2 and a half. So I guessed negative two and a third. It's actually negative two halves. Obviously my straight edge on this line was not quite straight enough. All right, so the precise answer is negative two and a half and negative three. And we don't need to solve for y this time because it's already given to us. We already know what y equals. Okay. That is it for this problem, for this lesson. Okay? Do your practice problems and your homework and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.